E estamos de volta, pessoal. Kicks pass around this joke. Nem sei contra quem é que vamos jogar. And we see a while ago the Warriors getting prepared for the task at hand. Everyone's in their seats here at the Oracle mm -hmm. Arena as the Golden State Warriors mm -hmm. look mm -hmm. to grab a win in front of the home crowd here. Well, it was the Golden State Warriors in their last game, a loss to Phoenix at U.S. Airways Center. And the final score doesn't really indicate how well they played that night, Clark. No, it doesn't. I mean, they were on the... Well, I'm just back on the beach, then he's there again. And now he comes on the floor. Fifty-six seconds left here in the first quarter. Here's Ellington. Passes it to Bayless. Feeds it to Ellington. He dishes it to Bayless. Tries again. Can't get it to go. So Golden State will take it the other way. And this is the first season matchup for them against the Grizzlies. You know, this game kicks off a, a three-game season series for these clubs. Definitely both looking to get that leg up tonight. Here's Ray Man. Grizzlies with the rebound. <laughs> Last game matched up with the Clippers. A tough loss there. Well, yeah, with the number of turnovers they had in that game, guys, it was going to be an uphill battle all the way. Well, especially, Steve, when you couple the turnovers with the soft defense they were playing. I mean, that's a bad combination. Turning it over and then not defending. Here's Bayless. And another miss by Memphis. No shortage of scoring here at the end of the first quarter. Warriors lead by five. Nothing like NBA action, so come out to a Warriors game and enjoy the show. Single game tickets are available to make sure you see Rain Man take on the opposition. So come out and welcome our sensational new rookie. And now the second quarter. Warriors leading by four. Well, you knew the Grizzlies were anticipating going deep into the playoffs after they had a nice run to the second round in 2011. They don't seem ready to settle for first round exits, and they've got the personnel and coaching to be right in the thick of things um, going forward. Clark, how about the previous year when they were a number eight seed, knocked out the number one seed, San Antonio in 2010? Taking a look at the Grizzlies. Arthur out there with Rudy Gay. Then there's Maurice Spates. Then there's Wayne Ellington. And it's Conley in at the point. Let's check out what Doris Burke has for us. Well, fellas, a lot of excitement in the Bay Area about the direction of the Golden State Warriors. New ownership, a talented roster, and a new waterfront arena on the horizon. But as far as attracting big-name free agents, there's still work to be done. Point guard Steph Curry says, well, we're playing an exciting brand of basketball. We're unselfish, and we have high character guys on this team. Hopefully, we can start enticing some guys to come play here. But it's a process of convincing the league that this is a winning organization. A reputation we've had in the past is dead. 
guys. Question, we'll question. see. They certainly seem to be headed in the right direction, Doris, with a good core attack. Hey. The Grizzlies making a switch here. Selby's yeah, checked in. And for the Grizzlies, they had a doozy of a matchup with the Clippers. Steve, you did a couple of those games in the first round. Exciting to watch. Oh, man, was it ever. Oh, that, that series went ah. seven games. Remember, there was the incredible Clipper comeback uh, in the, uh, I think it was game one in Memphis. And then for the Clippers to go back to Memphis and win the deciding game on the road, that was really surprising. And while we can, here's a look at the teams that had the fastest hands in the league last season. Number one, the Grizzlies. And I don't even know if the numbers really told the story. I mean, this was a tremendous defensive team last year. Here's Rain Man. And he can't extend the lead to double digits. The Grizzlies trail by nine. Selby dishes to space. Oh, man. And it's blocked by Curry. Hey, he like to go Back to Lee. Good, and Curry gets the assist. Lee's got five points in the quarter. You know, you look at Lionel Hollins, and I'm so impressed with the job he's done. I actually played for him way back in 1988. He was an assistant coach with the Phoenix Suns. That was my rookie season. And he was just a, a really good guy to play for. Worked hard, has a nice way about him. Uh, kind of a player's coach, really has a good relationship, a good feel for his player. Outside Jefferson. And for the Grizzlies, their shooting in the second quarter has been pretty embarrassing, just 27%. <laughs> Selby kicks to Gay. He kicks to Selby. Back to Gay. And that is good. Gay's got 11. And this Grizzlies team up and coming in the West, certainly. You've got to give Coach Howland's Steve a lot of credit for their success. Well, what he's done is he's given this team an identity and a style, and that's so important in this league. I mean, what Memphis is, they're, they're an inside-out team. Uh, they're tough, they're blue-collar, and they're going to defend every game, and that really comes from their coach. He may want to start spreading the ball around a little bit. His shot is off right now. Nine points for Steph Curry. That's four of their last five buckets now coming in the paint area. And they're in attack mode right now, barreling in there with bad man intention. Memphis moving it around. Gay with it. Jefferson picks him up. Gay kicks to Spates. This is to Ellington. Shot clock at five. Gets an open look and hits. There's 14 seconds left here in the second. Here's Rain Man. Let's it go with a three. Here's Landry. The shot from the low post is good. Landry's got his first basket of the night. And a really poor job boxing out there, guys. A momentary lapse in concentration, I think. So we've reached the end of the first half of play. Warriors ahead. They're up by 11. And now, brought to you by Sprint. The weekend is finally upon us, and on this Friday night, it's time for the halftime show. The Warriors are on a tear right now. They've benefited from some excellent contribution from their bench, providing scoring in bunches when called Hello. upon. It's been Good a major advantage. Mais uma vez, ali, entre vindo o jogador. Que que sou aqui? Ah, é. E pronto, é só isso, né? Não preciso que eles não fui na bola, mas está se bem, está se bem. A view of the Bay Bridge spanning from San Francisco over to the East Bay and Oakland. Really an incredible game from Stephen Curry. Yeah, he's done a great job of finding the soft spots in that. Warriors leading by 10. Rain Man, he's in a point guard. Clay Thompson and Brandon Rush at the 2 and 3. Harrison Barnes is out there with Bogut, so that's the group out there for Golden State. Those are shots he shouldn't be afraid to take. He can make them. Outside Conley, that's all up top. Back to Conley. Kicks to Randolph. Six on the shot clock. Conley, the pass to Gasol. From deep. No good. Well, for three quarters of play, down double digits, it may be difficult to overcome. Warriors lead by 13. And we're coming back.
Continuamos a não jogar tempo nenhum, mas pronto, é, são os opções do nosso treinador. E obrigado de novo por nos nos Vamos ver o que acontece aqui no fourth. E agora o nosso sideline reporter, Doris Burke, tem um report on our Sprite Uncontainable Game. Hi, Doris. Hey, Kevin, and it's the Warriors with the uncontainable game in this one. They had a plan to get an edge in this one, and they executed it perfectly. Hard to see them giving this one away in the final period. Why, Doris? So we see the Warriors taking the game here. You know, Clark, every team has a bad night, and these guys might want to watch the tip. Yeah. Vou botar no jogo NBA. Sim, sim, vai na mais a cabeça, não sei o Contribuição mínima, mas está-se bem. Está-se bem, está-se bem. Quem é que foi o jogador do homem do jogo? <risos> claro. Claro. Claro, claro. Mais uma vez, 6 minutos, 6 pontos. Quanto mais tempo nos derem, mais pontos nós mandamos. Easy win for you guys tonight. Did you see that one coming? Nah, I wouldn't say that. Uh, in the NBA, you're always going to be facing good competition. But we've been talking as a team, and we really feel like our game has jumped to another level. These guys were all executing exactly the way Coach wanted us to. And this is the type of result we expect to get when we do that. This game should serve as a message to the league. We're ready to win, and we're ready to win now. And with the talent we have here, this team's capable of anything. Come on, Shabal. Pronto, deixaste toda a gente em alvoroço. És maluco. Mas pronto, confiança, confiança. Vitória é fácil. Ah. Isto é um jogo simples. Bah, não. E pronto pessoal, acho que vamos ficar por aqui. Até o próximo jogo.